Hi everybody, it's Faith from Fireside Tarot. I hope everyone is well. If you're new to our little channel, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Alright, we're knocking out the first half of May readings. And we're doing a whole lot in a very short period of time because I still have to go to my bread and butter job today for about 9 to 11 hours. And I got up very early in the morning and got started today. trying to get it done at this point but the readings aren't going to go in order of the zodiac wheel at this point um taurus went first because that's my birthday gift to them it's their season they go first aries is still going to go last because every zodiac sign has to take their turn going last and if you went first last round you go last this round that's just how it works but as for the 10 signs in between, not going in any real particular order, I don't think. Uh, um, knocking Capricorn out right now, so I think I'm just going to bundle them together by the elements and go boom, 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 boom. So I don't have any particular set of energies fighting with me. <laughs> because... All the air signs gave me crap last round. I don't know why, and it just delayed me even farther. So, anyway, I'm going to shut my pie hole and throw down some cards for Capricorn. Because I know the Capricorns watching this are already getting impatient. So, sir, do you be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, if it resonates with you? Cool. It's your free will to do whatever you choose to do with the message given to you by the cards if you choose to do anything at all. It is your journey, not mine. I just read the cards. If it doesn't resonate and it's a general reading, it's not going to resonate with every Capricorn. I'm sorry. Check your moon, rising, your Venus sign readings as they come out. Just keep in mind, time and energy are both fluid and all things can and maybe vice versa. They play out from the perspective of a cross watcher. And you guys, of course, are welcome here too. Come on in and have a seat. I appreciate you. Couple more shuffles for Capricorn. We're gonna get it going. One, two. Okay. Capricorn, why are you here? Princess of Pentacles, sorry, Prince of Pentacles reversed. Something has ground to a halt. Something is not moving. No offers being given or received. No connections, or no conversations even happening about offers. Nothing. How do you feel about the person you're dealing with? princess of swords they're an honest person they're a good communicator possibly a little bit of a chatty Cathy even could be an air sign you're dealing with what do you think of them strengthen the upright oh could be a Leo Possibly, potentially. You see them as trusting. Maybe even slightly domineering. Take it however resonates. What do you want from them? Prince of Swords reversed. Oh, okay. Hmm. Before I touch any of these, 
just reading these four. Blockage, communication blockage. Back to them being a chatty Kathy. Um, things grinding to a halt. I don't think you guys are talking. I think they're talking to everybody else except you. It's the chatty Kathy thing. Yep, 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 yep. I won't say it to your face, but I'll tell everybody else in the neighborhood. Yep, 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 yep. I think you want that to stop. You're not going to solve problems. Tell everybody else about them except the person that you're dealing with. Message for the cross watcher. How do they feel about you? Ten of Wands reversed. Something has a burden and someone need uh, if I can make words work right now. Somebody has a burden they need to release. Somebody has something they need to get off the chest. I think they have a burden that they can't release. What do they think of you? The Hermit reversed. Might be a Virgo or a fire sign you're dealing with. Taking me a second. Just give me a second. Something to get off their chest. Nobody's communicating. Lack of introspection, lack of healing. I'm able to find the light. I'm going to, have to throw a clarifier on that because that's not making any sense at this point. What do they want from you? Seven of Swords in the up. Oh, okay. Discretion. What's the obstacle here for Capricorn? Eight of Cups. Someone's still in the process of moving on from something. Moving towards something else. What can be done? Temperance reversed. Things aren't balanced. Imbalance, impatience. Lack of positive energy flow, potential outcome, work no longer going into the situation. I need to clarify. <sighs> Universe, source, and spirits. Can I get some clarity on the cards and table for Capricorn, please?
Come on. They don't want to shuffle. They don't want to shuffle. Mm. They don't want to shuffle. They're arguing. You see the cards arguing with me right now? Thank you. One more. I saw way too much there. Why is the hermit reversed here? I only clarify them if they need clarifying at this point. If it's a card that's just kind of in there and doesn't make sense at, at, at first blush, um, I'm throwing a clarifier on it. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Prince of Pentacles reversed. Things aren't talking. Things aren't moving. Down the path. Haven't healed. Haven't seen the light. Haven't found the inner light. Things aren't moving. Needs to get something off their chest. Secrets. They want secrets revealed. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Thank you. Ten of Swords flew out. They want a painful cycle to end. They want secrets to come out. No more secrets. They feel like you're having a hard time releasing a burden. You're not talking. You're not communicating. Things aren't moving. Obstacle is moving forward. Moving on. Moving toward. Why is the Eight of Cups here? Seven of Pentacles reverse. Someone's becoming impatient. Someone's not being patient with the other person. I just dropped a couple cards. Oh my goodness. Get back in there. I didn't ask for anything yet. Why is Temperance reversed here for what can be done? Thanks. Hereford reverse disconnection. There's negative energy flow. Someone isn't learning their lesson. Ace of Wands. Things need to slow down. They need to stop. Wheel of Fortune in the reverse. <sighs> it's actually kind of sideways, so read it either or. Somebody left something hanging out there. Something needs to be completed. Things are not moving. People are not communicating. Things are ground to a halt. Something has not been released that needs to be. There is a healing that needs to take place that hasn't. And that's why nothing is moving. There's no communication. Nobody is dialing direct here. And they're telling everybody else but the person involved. Okay. Capricorn, it may be time to sit this person down and have the conversation. But we'll wait for the advice from the cards. That's just what I would do. Why is the Eight of Pentacles reversed here for the outcome? Hi, you, you two talked right away, so I'm going to take you both. 
the table jiggled. It's fine. Page of Pentacles in the upright, King of Cups in the reverse. Someone no longer putting the work in, an apology and an emotional closing off. At some point, someone's going to get to the point where an apology is going to be in order and the other person's going to say, no, nope, talk to the hand, I'm done. This is where you're going to end up if you don't kibosh it. <clears throat> Energy flow needs to become more positive here. Karma needs to be cleaned up. Lessons need to be learned. I'll throw one more on that one needs to be done. Six of Pentacles reversed. The scales aren't even. The scales need to be balanced. The scales need to be evened out. All right, let's get your advice. Advice for Capricorn, please. Five of Wands of the Death Card. Even if it turns into an argument, things aren't going to change and the conversation doesn't happen. There is a way to avoid the argument, and it's all in how you approach it. Don't go on in, both barrels all combative, and just, uh, you're going to talk to me. No, don't do that, because that's not how you start a conversation. But if you want things to change, the conversation needs to happen. Don't let it get to the point of both barrels. One more on that. Princess of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Progress will happen if you come from a place of love and understanding. But you have to love yourself enough and love the other person enough to get to that place of love and understanding. You, you have to want the progress. Either way, whether it's the means to the end or the beautiful new beginning, progress is progress. But it's about mutual, unconditional, and self-love. Ten of Cups in the Double Reversed. You don't get your happy ending until you disconnect from all the toxicities and whatever you need to disconnect from. One of you is shackled to something very powerful. One more on that. Empress reversed and the Seven of Wands reversed. You're not going to get your happy ending. It's not going to grow. It's not going to expand until you get a handle on it. Devil reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. Somebody needs to get a handle on it. You need to take control back of the situation. And doesn't mean going in fist locked, ready to fight, and being all combative, because that's not going to solve anything either. But you can take control of the situation by sitting down and having a calm conversation with each other and not everybody else in the neighborhood. Because apparently this was one of the big problems. Go away, I don't want what you're selling me. All right, Capricorn, I'm going to go. I have to go get ready for my bread and butter job. Oh, 
probably nothing next week except maybe a, a special bonus round for all the zodiac signs. It all depends on how much progress I can make on my house on my next day off. Or my next two days off, actually. Um, but I'll be honest, probably tomorrow I'll be reading cards all day. So just know that you're loved. Be blessed. Take care. And I will catch you guys later. Love you to bits.